it's renovation day one and Jas and I have just got to the house and it is already a proper building site. So let me show you what the builders have done today. We've only been downstairs yet, but wow. I cannot imagine how people live through a renovation. This is just day one. Hold on. <laughs> As you can see in the kitchen, they've started smashing up all of the tiles in here. Wow, it's very dangerous. They've pulled out all these plug sockets. So they're very loose on the wall. How is that even safe to use? That plug socket's been cut out. Oh, this is like all the tiles that are on the walls here. Oh, they've taken that floral blind off the window, not the wall. That's incredible. And yep, all the tiles around the window have gone. I'm trying not to touch anything because my clothes are really clean. <laughs> yeah, this looks uh, so much more spacious. I'm really glad we didn't start stripping wallpaper here because that would have been a massive waste of our time. And um, that does not look safe to me. That was actually on when I came here. I don't think it needs to be on. It's just like an extension wire. So I've turned it off, but God. <laughs> looks dangerous and then we have all of this mess here these are the bits we're keeping um, our carpet in black bags and a fridge and then in here in the dining room I don't know why they've done this now oh let me see this was the old can I touch this fireplace that was boarded up <gasps> wow how nice does that look? Obviously, if it was cleaned up, it's a shame we're getting rid of this, but yeah, I don't know why they've removed this. This wall that you're looking at back there is actually being moved forward into the living room, and me and Jess are trying to figure out how they've lifted it. <laughs> we don't remember there being a big gap between the floor and the skirting board when we left here last night. They've definitely done a lot in eight hours, I think, but yeah. That's what it looks like. I don't know why they've made this hole. I think they're probably trying to see what material this wall's made out of so they can move it forward rather than rebuilding a new wall. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh my God, the builder just called and I was asking him about this and he said, there's a dead bird. Okay. <gasps> is, that the, is that the beak? Is that the beak? Yeah, it's ancient. No. Oh, shit, I've seen that for years. <gasps> no, 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 put it back, put it back, shut the door, shut the door. I can't, I can't, I can't look at these things. Because you've had no way out. I'm literally freaking out. I could never be a doctor, a vet, anything that has to look at blood, but that's, dead things. I feel sorry for it because that bird would have been alive. Stop here, don't say horrible. Well, it's, it's true, it's like, I feel sorry because they obviously wouldn't have been able to fly back out. So <laughs> oh, it's awful. Anyway, <laughs> our structural engineer is meeting us here in about five or ten minutes. So we're going to wait for him and then we're going to go out to see the progress made to the garage, which should be really interesting because I think that's what they've done the most on today. Okay, renovation day two. You probably can't even see me very well. Um, we've just got to the house and before it gets completely dark, I'm standing in our garage. <laughs> we didn't check this out properly yesterday, but wow, there's no roof. And it's just an empty shell. It's crazy. So Jas is just shining his torch from his phone. But look, this is our garage, the side of it. He's had to widen the door because we need to get a UPVC door. There was no door. And he's going to replace the window. And there's a window at the back. And he's chopped down part of my beautiful cherry blossom tree. But it, I mean, it's a huge tree and it's just going to basically damage the new roof so it had to be done eventually in time we will have to get a tree surgeon out to properly get rid of this tree because it's causing a lot of damage but for now he's cut the branches back these um planks of wood must be for the roof right mm. is it made out yeah. of wood a lot of building material that's our old roof from the garage that contains asbestos so we need to dispose of that properly not us obviously the builder and here these are our garden chairs that they've obviously been using to sit on. It's not going to focus because it's getting really dark now, but there's some bricks here because they need to raise the height of this garage back up. But anyway, let's go inside and see what they've done. Oh my god! They've done this already? 
Hang on, but are they supposed to rough up this floor? Oh, I think so. Um, I hadn't asked them to. It's not a problem, but hold on. <laughs> Look at this. They've literally knocked that stud wall out. This is not how we're having it. We were having that wall pulled forward because it was. Actually, that's right, though. Oh, God, shit. I've just stepped on. So the wall was there. We're having it rebuilt here. Yeah. <laughs> This is crazy. This house looks so big, doesn't it, Jas? Yeah. Huh, actually looks right this, this way with it open like this, doesn't it? But... Insane. Okay, so our kitchen still looks the same as it did yesterday. They have put some stuff in the skip because the skip is full outside. But yeah, it's so much more spacious without cabinets. But obviously we will be replacing the cabinets with a new kitchen because <laughs> you need them but yeah let me just swing it around this way we took these doors off ourselves um we left this for the builders to do these doors because they're secured in but look at how spacious the house looks so we did actually deliberate knocking that whole wall completely down as opposed to replacing it the one that separates the living room from the rest of the house but as much as i love open plan living i quite like the idea of keeping the living room separate and maybe having a carpet in there just a nice little cozy room for a bit of privacy i think it's just nice to have two separate rooms obviously we definitely want this open plan but i really like the way it looks it's just it's crazy to be able to see all the way to the front of your house from like the extension like when this would have been part of the garden years ago it's just insane uh, I don't know how I feel about it but it's just so much bigger than I envisaged it really it's just oh it's crazy it blows my mind but oh my god once this wall's gone it will just look even more crazy don't you think Jess? Mm. Uh, this wall they can't do yet because we have a few issues with our neighbours and this is a party wall because that is an next door neighbour's house so we need like written permission and, and like a party wall agreement um, before we can knock through this wall so as soon as we hear back from the neighbours which should have been yesterday then we can crack on with getting rid of this wall because this was literally the one thing that we definitely wanted to do everything else was kind of a it would be nice if we can but we basically put an offer into the house on the basis that this wall can go because we never liked the kitchen the way it was so yeah it's just crazy it is so it just blows my mind as to how much work people can do in just two days like what 16 hours or so that they've been here it's crazy i mean there's obviously so much work to do and i think they've got extra people this week because they were free this week they didn't have any other jobs going on at the same time so they were really keen to just crack on and do as much as they can just so that obviously we can move in as soon as possible <coughs> i mean it's very dusty in here i don't know how they work oh they obviously wear like builders masks don't they so I'm going to come tomorrow afternoon just to talk to the builder and just show him a few bits, that, um, extra things that I want doing. And I think I might bring them some biscuits and stuff because we asked them if they'd like us to bring a kettle for them and some tea and coffee. But they were saying that usually they bring their own kettles and their microwaves and stuff like that. Um, so I thought maybe I'll just get them some biscuits or just a bit of food because um, I can see they've been like ordering sandwiches and cans of coke and stuff on delivery because they've left all their stuff in the kitchen so that might be quite nice for them. Did you move the cement? Yeah, but yeah. But they haven't got rid of the dead bird in the chimney and I can see it and now that it's all open plan I can see it from either end of the room. In fact I'm sat in the hallway because I've left some chairs here <laughs> and oh the bird is looking at me. I wish they'd just dispose of it because it is awful. It makes me feel really sick and really sad for the bird. So yeah, that is all there is to report from today. But it's very exciting seeing all this progress. We're almost at the end of renovation week one. We're at the house, the builders are here, but I think they're in the garden, which is why I'm vlogging. <laughs> Jas and I have come to the house today, it's Saturday, uh, just to remove the final bits of wallpaper and I really hope we get it done today and tomorrow. But the house is a proper building site. They've done so much work in a week. We're both really impressed. I thought I'd show you around. Let me show 
show you a few bits before the builders come back in um just because i don't want to be vlogging in front of people <laughs> i'm currently stood in the living room this is my west arm bookcase that we're obviously keeping that i've wrapped up so to protect it from dust and paint and all the rest of it i've actually been doing some very technical drawings this morning <laughs> the radiators are all off in the house look at this they've started building the stud wall so our living room will become much smaller currently it's all open plan and here we are again back to more wallpaper stripping it's fun times yeah. isn't that the worst thing doing the ceiling just yeah that's the worst bit because it all basically it's not easy either. Just get... drops down on you makes it look like you have dandruff yeah yeah there's not much i can do really i have a scraper but like i've kind of done these side bits we only have one machine and obviously it's like a one-man job, really, at this point. That was so embarrassing. The last time I was walking, one of the builders walked in from the garden and he was looking at me like, who's she talking to, waving her camera around? So I had to stop. But it's now a couple of hours later. The builders left a little while ago because it's Saturday. They're not allowed to work after 1 p.m. So they've been finishing off bits in the garage. And Jess and I went to Subway, of all places, to grab a sandwich for lunch. And now we are back at the house. It's absolutely freezing in here because they take off all the radiators so we can't put the heating on and i'm frozen i might have to get my coat from the car i'm literally wearing a jumper and a cardigan that's how cold it is but just gonna crack on with um taking this wallpaper off the ceiling which is proving to be a nightmare um i did some of the wall earlier here we go that's what i was doing actually let me show you I can like ooh, step up onto here. Somebody has written Adolf Hitler on the wall. How weird is that? It's very strange. They've drawn like. Is that like a face? Hmm. Anyway, we're basically removing the wallpaper till I measured it a second ago, but about here. There we go. So we basically need to strip the wallpaper almost up until the end of this light because this part of this wall will be going anyway. So that's a waste of everyone's time. We just need to obviously do it all the way down to the bottom. There was a radiator here, but of course that has gone. And then because the builders have left all of their tools, there's Jas. Um, we can't get to this side because obviously this wall and there's a little bit on the other side that you're staying but this chimney breast will be going but look at this <laughs> have you ever seen such healthy builders it's so funny they've got like tupperware full of fruit hummus and um, some dip diet coke i bought them a box of biscuits when i came here during the week the other day but i really regret not wrapping these up because we want to keep them and we're really hoping that no dust has gone inside and actually damaged the way that they work i mean i appreciate that they've put them to one side but obviously it's super dusty in here i can barely breathe so that was a bit of a rookie mistake because obviously we want to use the washing machine and the dishwasher and the fridge hopefully it's okay though and this is some carpet that we're keeping it's just a shame that the garage isn't done yet or the roof isn't done otherwise we could just keep it out of the way in there because no doubt it is getting very dusty in here Whew. so i'm now stood in the extension part of our kitchen the old units were up on the wall there we will be having our kitchen from about here onwards in an l shape going all the way down there and once this wall has gone here we go so this whole wall from left to right if you can see we'll be going and obviously this too part of that wall that will really open this space up and sort of where this wall is coming out to somewhere about here we'll have a kitchen island which would be great and then so this is where the kitchen used to be and really interestingly this wall here that's going is actually was sorry the original back wall of the house so the house would have just ended here and literally this entire space would have been a tiny kitchen which is just crazy to me oh my god there's like a big hole in the roof um that's probably for the pipes for the boiler 
because this is our um, ancient boiler that's going to be changed. But I can't imagine having a kitchen this tiny. I'm really sorry if this is making you dizzy. I have no idea how to film this, but the plan is we're building a downstairs toilet that will go sort of along this wall up until the window. It's a real shame that we haven't got enough space to stick the boiler in there because that would have been amazing just to hide it in the toilet and not use up a kitchen cabinet. It has to go on an outside wall because of the flue. So the toilet will kind of stick out here. So the pan will be like here. <laughs> this is very technical. So when you're sat on the toilet, like so, this will not be your view, this is the direction that you'll be facing. So the toilet should come out to about here, like the pan, and there'll be a sink on the wall somewhere, and then there'll be the partition wall for the toilet. We could have gone out further and got the boiler in there, but it would have meant getting rid of this window, and I mean, obviously it's not very nice, it's not like the nicest window in the world, and really it just looks out to our neighbour's house, but it just means light, and I just love loads of big windows and it's just not worth bricking up a window in my opinion so it's better to just section the toilet off here so then when you walk in from here you will have the toilet all the way up to there like I said now this wall was originally going to go the whole wall from this door frame onwards but Jas and I weren't keen on having a toilet as part of your kitchen because I just think it seems really weird. If you're cooking like 10, 15 steps away, you don't want to hear or see people going into the toilet, especially guests. It just kind of makes everyone feel, feel a bit uncomfortable. But also because the dining table will be on the other side of the wall when you have people round. You don't want to see people going in and out the toilet and say somebody leaves the door open you'll see the actual toilet which we just thought was a bit weird it was just an aesthetic thing and so we've decided to keep part of this wall we went back and forth on this with our structural engineer who's also an architect and our builder we had loads of different builders come around and some of them gave us some really good ideas and in fact the builder that we're not going with was the one that gave me the idea of keeping part of this wall which i thought was a really good idea because because it kind of just sections it off. So from the hallway, as you enter, there's no door here, but it's obviously a door frame. You feel like on the other side of that door frame, you've now entered the kitchen. We're essentially moving this door frame so that it's just past the toilet, sort of here. So then, let me go the other way. <laughs> so then the door frame will be like here, and then it will feel like the toilet is part of the hallway and then you enter the kitchen much further so we will have like the world's biggest hallway or whatever but that's fine it just makes us feel like the toilet isn't in the kitchen it's in a separate part of the house almost that's kind of what we think <laughs> unfortunately we can't get rid of this little bit of wall because that's load bearing I mean we can everything's possible but it just costs a lot more money they'll have to put like a steel support in there it's just not worth it so in the future a few years down the line we might get some cabinets made almost like fitted wardrobes just to kind of go along this wall up until wherever it ends that'd be quite good for like shoe storage I think or you could like shove your cleaning products your mop bucket or you know just any sort of rubbish that you don't want visible and on display and it'll just be a good use of this space because once you walk in from the door frame you just walk in a straight line no one's going to go straight in and then go this way and that's just kind of wasted space so that's kind of the plan but that is way into the future yeah that's just an idea that we have for now let me just quickly show you the garage and the work so far i feel like i'm talking loads in this video but it's because this week i've been back to the house twice during the day just to meet with the builders and obviously there's been like six people here working in the house and i can't even like really take a photo never mind pull out my camera to vlog because it's just a bit awkward you don't want to get people in the videos you don't really want them to see you vlogging and it's just a bit weird isn't it so i thought i'd show you today before it gets dark because it's already about three oh 3 30 this patio door is very stiff hold on my left hand is useless right oh it's nice and sunny outside as well right let me show you what's happening 
I don't know if I've said any of this before so I apologise because I've obviously been vlogging bits every day but our old roof was broken because of that tree and also because it was really old and it had a big hole in it but also it needed to be changed because it contained asbestos so they have to remove it properly and all the rest of it so they're rebuilding a new roof it's not going to overhang like this um they're going to trim it down once it's done but the top isn't done yet they're also fixing this door because that's broken they are putting in two new windows where the existing windows were and a new door but the windows and doors actually won't arrive for about a month because of covid there's like a really long lead time and you know stuff like that at the moment so that's fine but they've also rebuilt the height of this there was loads of loose bricks the structure looked like it was about to fall apart so they've kind of fixed it and the builders were saying that our next door neighbors on the other side are super friendly really nice and they let them into the garden whenever they wanted to just to fix the other side of this garage which is very nice to hear because we haven't met them properly yet the builder was saying they've angle grinded the bricks to make way for the door because the original door was quite narrow and UPVC ones are wider so they've had to widen this and then fix the bricks so that it basically looks good I guess <laughs> let me go inside up here you can see the three bricks the three rows of bricks which are new so they've rebuilt this height because it's sloped downwards just to make it all even yeah you can see because here it's just the top two rows that are new and there's nothing there I wonder why this is here hmm I don't know I might have to ask him but as you can see there's still gaps you can still see the sky <laughs> so this is obviously not done yet he's hoping to get it done by Wednesday or Thursday next week although Wednesday it's meant to be chucking it down so I don't know how that's gonna go and then this door will need to be fixed and I'm really really hoping that they can fix it rather than having to buy a new one because that just means it'll be an additional cost yeah I think they're working really quickly aren't they Jas? Huh? the builders are working really quickly aren't they so far yeah, we're very impressed with how much work they've done and it's been great like they've you know there's always a worry that they won't turn up on time or they will leave early or they'll leave a job half done so far so good and i think even my parents and aunts and uncles and whatever um are like very impressed at the speed they've done things i also think it's partly because they don't have any other jobs on at the moment and they were supposed to be having another job starting this week but then that got pushed back for a week or two so I think they're trying to do it as much as they can because obviously them working quicker is good for us because it means we move in sooner but it's good for them because the more work they do and the faster they do it the more money they make i assume so we're not paying them a daily rate so it's not really worth their while dragging it out they're not getting more money from us for like the longer it takes if that makes sense so yeah i don't want to jinx it but i'm quite happy with the work so far and our build is really good actually isn't he jess yeah, it also keeps on grenade, yeah every night or like for most nights he will call us just to give us a little update of what he's done and he'll send us before and after photos of like um big work that he's doing so like on day one he sent us photos of oh there's pigeons in our tree sorry <laughs> he um i'm just like oh my god nature <laughs> sorry <laughs> he sent us photos of the garage before he started work on it and the next day he sent us photos of the garage when the roof was off and he was like just for your memory so you can see the before and after obviously i don't think he knows what i do i take a million photos like my entire camera roll has about a thousand photos and they're all house related stuff but it's so nice of him to like just do that and just give us the before and afters and just keep us up to date because i don't think that's the norm um from people that i've spoken to they're like builders don't normally do that they just get on with it so yeah we're very grateful that's very nice isn't it Jess? yeah <sighs> how's it going in there yeah right this this is a good one it's like it's up to its cover do it twice because you get the top layer off mm. and then uh if we're lucky the bottom will come off but you ever do it twice most likely well once you've done that i will do the wall i just don't like standing on a ladder because i'm scared of heights and i also can't really reach because i'm a bit vertically challenged so the ceilings i can't do but up to the top of the ceiling i can and i'm happy to bend down and do the bits on the floor so that's kind of how we've been dividing the work oh, it's freezing in the house it's now really dark <laughs> it's about 
What time is it? Oh my God, it's 20 to seven. I think we're gonna wrap up soon. My cousin has been and gone. She got us a Starbucks, which was so nice and much needed. But tonight I think we're gonna get a Thai takeaway, <laughs> which we're very much looking forward to because we haven't had a takeaway for two weeks. We've been really, really good just cooking at home. Luckily I'd done a lot of batch cooking because I knew that we'd be really busy the minute renovations and stuff started. Um, and so we've just been eating stuff I've cooked and frozen, which has been great. But I think tonight calls for a takeaway. We haven't really got that much wallpapering done um, today, which is a bit of a shame, but we've had a lot of time just messaging people, asking for opinions and marking out plug sockets and so-and-so. This is our little tiny bedroom, our box room if you like. Oh my God, look, I've never even noticed this wallpaper. It's, there was a radiator here under the window that they've obviously removed all the radiators. Look at how much mess radiators make. Obviously we're not keeping this carpet, so it's fine, but imagine living in a house. I just don't know how people do it. It's just incredible. If you're living through a renovation, how are you coping? Please tell me. Or if you ever have lived through a renovation. Anyway, this um, cat wallpaper is very funny. <laughs> but they've already started mapping out plug sockets where I've put crosses. Obviously, they've done it to the legal height. Not, <laughs> not like <laughs> I just put roughly where I want them. So, because we're gonna have a desk somewhere here or here, we thought it'd be a good idea to have two double sockets, one with a USB, which is basically what I asked for. I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen with this wall here because I managed to pull a lot of it off when I was stripping wallpaper. And I think they tried to make a hole for a plug socket and realize that this basically goes all the way through into that room there. <laughs> Literally, you can see the light from, if you're standing on the other side of this wall, out into here. They must have got annoyed and then kicked it in here, which is really funny, but hopefully they're gonna fix that. I'm sure they will. So if I stand right up against the other wall in this room, it's annoying me because obviously, due to like the design of the room and the curved ceilings, I think someone told me they're called skeelings, which is a really funny word. Anyway, the bed can only really go there. So I had told the builder to basically put a plug socket there and there either side of the bed. Like I wanted, that's fine. That's basically what he's done. But that would mean the bed has to go right up against this wall here. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be weird. When you're in bed, you might hit your head on a bit of the wall. I mean, the headboard might stick out about a third of this wall. And then you have this much where you might just hit your face on the wall, depending on how far off the edge of the bed you are. Let me just stand in one place because otherwise it's gonna make you wee dizzy. If we have the bed up against this wall, you can still get one bedside table in there. In the future, you could put one on this side and just pull it out a bit because that is kind of dead space once the bed's in. It won't look the best aesthetically, but <laughs> if you were to center the bed in the middle of this wall, which may now be too late because I already put the plug socket in, but we could potentially still do it. If you were to center the bed in the middle of this wall, then you wouldn't get a bedside table in on either end, which I personally think is really annoying because it's far too small. The advantage of having the bed in the center of that wall would be you could do the same wall lights, light switches, plug sockets, for your chargers and that would look great. Because I don't know about anybody else, but when you stay at people's houses, it really annoys me when there's no like um, bedside table light, whether it's on the wall or by the bed or whatever, because when you're in someone else's house, you don't know the layout of their house to be able to see in the dark once you switch the light off. I know it's not so much of a problem because we all have a mobile phone and we have light on it, but it's just a little annoying detail. The other thing I don't like is not having a bedside table because I wear glasses and I need somewhere to put my glasses ideally not on the floor so I don't step on them when I first wake up or scramble around trying to find them. So I really have a thing for bedside tables. I just think it's a nice little thing to have even in a guest bedroom. So I think we probably will have two and I think I will have the bed up against that wall. But I'm having a real issue with the lighting. Let me just show you what I mean. So having the bed up against this wall, see where they've marked out this plug socket. That'll be fine to have plug socket, light switch, light above the bed. That's not a problem. On the other side, it'd be weird to have it 
further out on this wall. Although we could do that. I hadn't thought of that as a possibility, actually. I <laughs> had thought about putting a wall light here, but then aesthetically, it won't look as good because one light will be coming that way and one will be facing this way. So I don't know whether to just scrap this wall light on this side and just have one on the wall there for this person, possibly for both, depending on how bright the light actually is. And then just having a lamp on this bedside table, which is probably what I'm leaning to the most. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Although I feel like this will be done by the time this video goes live because I'm not posting these in real time. So yeah, if anyone has any advice, please let me know. And hopefully it isn't too late if someone comes up with a better solution for me. <laughs> It's Sunday um, morning. I was meant to end the vlog last night, but we've just come back to the house and I can't breathe in here because it is so dusty. We're going to remove the last of the wallpaper in this room, do as much as we can, clean up, and then go home. But hopefully we'll get a lot done before lunchtime because then tonight we have to... Who you can hear me. <laughs> tonight we have to shop for Skylight. So we kind of want to go home early-ish, about 3, 4 o'clock, and then start shopping for Skylight. So... This is what I'm doing. This wall is great. It's quite easy to do. Oh, and this. That's good. I'm trying to not make too much noise because it is literally 11 a.m. But yeah, such is life. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for week two of renovations. <laughs> Bye.